Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The great master Garo Kebabjan has passed away. The legendary commander Arkazi Tertadevosyan Komandos has passed away. President Armenak Abrahamyan's announcement on the statement of the human rights defender Arman Tatoyan. Mobile towns for peacekeepers in Artsakh to be commissioned by April 5. Azerbaijan's vandalism is a component of global policy to exterminate Armenians, monument expert. U.S. Senator urges to remove Turkey from F-35 program. Excavations to be held in Mezamor side castle in September. We are very sorry to inform that the founder and director of the Armenian Black Belt Association, the Honorary Council of Artsakh in Lebanon, the representative of the Middle East of Kung Fu Federation, Great Master Garo Kebabjan, has passed away in Yerevan. It should be noted that Master Garo's health condition had gotten worse in recent days due to COVID infection. Garo Kebabjan's contribution to the educating and physical education of young people is huge, both in Lebanon, Artsakh and Armenia. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, expresses his condolences towards his teacher's family, relatives and friends. President Abrahamian recalled his journey with the Grand Master since the 1970s. Garo Kebabjan stood at the foundation of the creation of the Armenian Armed Forces, and he was fully committed to the protection of the rights of the Armenians throughout his whole conscious life. He has educated and trained several generations of Armenian armed organizations. He especially considered the need to form the armed forces of Western Armenia important. He was always full of new pro-Armenian ideas. Our last meeting took place last year in Yerevan in October during the 44-day Artsakh War. True to its essence, the master was again making new programs, pointing out new solutions which would have a positive impact on the Armenians of Armenia, Artsakh and Western Armenia. His contribution to the Shushi Fortress city must be written in golden letters in the hearts of those who will once again liberate Shushi, the nest of heroes. Rest in peace, master. Let us remind that we will provide additional information about the time and place of Garo Kebabjan's funeral and burial. Artsakh hero, the commander of the military operation of the liberation of Shushi, General Mayor Arkadi Tertadevosyan, Komandos, has passed away today, on March 31, at the age of 81. Let us remind that the legendary commander was moved to Erebuni Hospital in a serious conditions a few days ago. The state television company of Western Armenia extends condolences to our beloved commander's family, relatives, comrades in arms and to all Armenians. Rest in peace, commander. We present to you the statement of the human rights defender of Armenia, Arman Tatoyan, on the unacceptable method of determining the new borders with Azerbaijan via GPS. Tatoyan thinks that the rights of the residents of the region are being violated. President Armenak Abrahamian reminds that Arman Tatoyan's position is legal at the level of international law, that the actions of Turkey and Azerbaijan are criminal acts against the Armenian population which must be put pressure on. It's time for Armenians around the world to defend the territorial integrity of Armenia, including the state of Western Armenia. The full article is available on our website. Mobile towns for the Russian peacekeeping contingent in Artsakh will be put into operation no later than April 5 and the mobile hospital will be opened for the peacekeepers by the end of April, Russia's Deputy Defense Minister Dmitry Bulgakov told reporters. He took part in the opening ceremony and settlement of another black majoral town for 250 peacekeepers in Stepanagert. Each residential module in such a town operates on a closed cycle. The general of the army reported the following. Today we are completing the equipment of 25 such townships. Commissioning and adjustment are in progress. No later than April 5, everything will be put into operation. That is all our peacekeepers will be equipped. The international community washed its hands and stepped aside. Archaeologist, culturologist, doctor of historical sciences, Professor Hamlet Petrosyan reported via news.am, referring to the destruction of another monument in Shushi. International organizations write, send and warn about this, but there is no result. While the Armenian society today, unfortunately, is not an independent factor in preserving its heritage, the monument expert mentioned. Petrosyan emphasizes that today we are not only in danger of losing our cultural heritage. According to the professor, there is a question of Armenia's existence and the vandalism of monuments is one of the manifestations of our disability. According to the expert, Azerbaijan has adopted a clear policy and has a working machine against Armenians, which aims to absolutely eliminate Armenia. Armenians must find their strength, self-organization and a leader who will think and take steps, he stressed. 
A U.S. senator has urged Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin to hold the transfer of F-35 technology to Turkey, which has purchased the S-400 missile defense system from Russia, saying not doing so would send a wrong signal to countries like India that is also going ahead with similar purchase. PTI reports, the slow Pentagon removal of Turkey from the F-35 supply chain is sending the wrong message to nations like India, who are exploring similar procurement opportunities, Senator James Lankford said on Monday in a letter to Austin. The U.S. must continue to urge our allies and partners to move away from Russian equipment, the senator noted. But if we refrain from holding Turkey fully accountable for its S-400 purchase by allowing them to continue producing parts, we will signal to India and other partners that such behavior is permissible, or at least will not have consequences, Lankford said. Excavations are planned for September at the Metamor archaeological site. The Protection Service of Historical, Cultural, Reserve Museums and Historical Environment, a governmental agency which has initiated the excavations, plans to cooperate with specialists from Poland. Professor Ashot Pilipocian, a senior scientist of the agency and a co-leader of the Armenian-Polish team of the site, told Armand Press that according to preliminary arrangements, the expert from Poland will visit Armenia in May to make preparations. If the situation were to get more complicated due to the pandemic and our partners aren't able to come, we will anyway start the work only with Armenian experts, he said. All findings from the site are being restored and then put on display at the eponymous Metamor Historical Archaeological Reserve Museum. Piliposan said that in the first three months of 2021 alone, the museum had as many visitors as in 2020 altogether. The visitors were mostly Russian tourists. Metamor Ancient Fortress Settlement is one of the unique monuments of world culture. It is situated 35 kilometers southwest from Yerevan, not far from Taronik village, on the bank of Metamor River. Now we present you Bostan Imdirir by Zartonk Ensemble. Bostan The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.